evening, theatre addicts. My name is Fern, and I'm here at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in Vancouver, about to watch the musical The Book of Mormon. So the show was created by South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone, as well as Robert Lowe Pierce, who was a co-creator of a popular musical Avenue Q. So I think that's quite an interesting collaboration. I do trust the musical genius of Trey Parker and Matt Stone, just from, from Team America and from the South Park movie Bigger, Longer and Uncut. The, the music of those movies well, it was just amazing. I actually remember my college tutor, my music tutor, um, going through some of the songs just from kind of a, a composition standpoint. They're, they're, they're really amazing. Um, I do expect the humor of the show, judging from South Park and Avenue Q and, and um, Team America, to be a little maybe crude vulgar, risque, shocking a little bit. <laughs> so I don't think this show is for those very easily offended, light-hearted or faint-hearted people. Um, but I think the, the reactions have been very, very positive that even though this is such a kind of humorous take on Mormonism, I think that the overall feel of the show will be very pro-faith. Um, and that's the kind of idea that I get from it. So I'm really excited to see how that pans out. I expect it to be really funny, but also very touching. So I hope that's the case. The one thing that I'm kind of interested to see how they portray um, is their, their take on Africa. Because I know that the, in the story, the missionaries are sent to Uganda. And, you know, the rest of, I'm so tired of the rest of the world portraying Africa in media and films and, and shows as this one entity with one language and one culture and mud huts and flies. <laughs> and I, I don't think that's how they portray it. Obviously there's going to be only one aspect of Uganda that they can kind of portray. Um, but yeah, I'm just interested to see how they, how they bring to life that Ugandan part. <laughs> I don't really know enough about how much they delve into to like what part of Uganda and things like that, but we'll see about that. But that's something, as someone from Africa, is in the back of my mind. It's just the portrayal of Africa in so much of the world. It's just, it's still to this day, people just don't know, you know, enough about it as a, as a continent. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm very, very excited for this one. So I'm going to go in and enjoy it, and I'll see you after the show. So it's after the show and personally I loved it. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. It definitely lived up to the hype. It was hilarious and it had a touching end. It had a it had a heartwarming conclusion. Um, having come to know Trey Parker and Matt Stone's work previously with South Park and with Team America World Police and basketball. <laughs> I think their style and their humour was very clearly evident in the show. Um, I don't really know Robert Lopez's work well enough, but they clearly work very well together and they clearly inspired each other, all three of them, in this show. I thought the costumes and sets were actually fairly simple. Um, I mean, the Mormons themselves were mostly in their suits, so there's not much you can go wrong with there. Um, but the Ugandans, the costumes were, were really not too extravagant, not too much. Um, the the sets as well sometimes it was just a, a beautifully painted backdrop that was slightly modified to show the next setting or, or something was moved around for the next location um, and I thought that was very effective kind of easily done not too complicated not huge set pieces whirling in and out so I thought that was really good the sound for me was a tiny bit problematic I just felt it was the music was just a little bit too loud um, and especially when the Mormons were singing, because they all have guy voices, it kind of melted into this frequency that just camouflaged into the music. So sometimes I found, and, and I wasn't that far from the front, and I feel like I, sometimes I found I was really struggling to focus on what they were saying. And I felt that as well with one of the last lines in, in the ending sequence. Um, the well the big end number there was something quite important about like America's view on things um, and oh no their view on things their the AIDS crisis um, and that line almost vanished it just melted into that that frequency so I just heard it but I, I think that was that's a little problematic when the Ugandans <laughs> were singing 
it wasn't as much of a problem. I think that the different array of voices, it, it, it helped. Um, there's definitely vulgarity, it's definitely language and like slightly inappropriate jokes, sexual innuendo and um, blatant, you know, talk, <laughs> genital jokes and things like that. But I don't know if I'm just jaded or <laughs> sort of overexposed to that kind of thing. I, I'm not too sure, but I just thought that it would be kind of the whole show was this vulgarity and always talking about these things. And I just didn't get that sense. I think a lot of the things people take offense to, I don't find as offensive. Um, for example, well, <laughs> don't get me wrong on this one. Um, you know, there was a lot of talk about this man that wanted to rape a baby or an infant to cure his AIDS. And I did see a lot of people mentioning this in the bad reviews. You know, how offensive was and making jokes about this and, you know, the, the female genital um, circumcision and things like that. And like, how, you know, how can you make a joke about this? But the thing is, to me, do, do they realize, like the people that kind of get offended by that, do they realize that that is an everyday thing? in certain parts of Africa. It does bring light to these things, not to make fun of them, but to just sort of be aware and, you know, that's what musical theatre is, that's what plays are for. Not to just sit down and have a talk with you like, this is bad and, you know, you shouldn't do this. But it's to bring light, it's a commentary on these topics. More on the, the Ugandan characters. Um, I thought the accents floated in there and then floated on out again <laughs> sometimes with some of them um the the doctor character pretty much had a jamaican accent <laughs> to me it sounded jamaican and the the girl that played the main actress that played uh Nab nabalongi um she definitely had some huge gaps in her accent it just sort of drifted on and then drifted back out <laughs> um but, you know, nitpicking again, I just thought that was something that maybe needed to pay more attention to. I always think if you're going to be speaking English when it's clearly not these people's first language, do you need to go with the accent or do you just go with the standard accent and just you assume that they, I don't know. I've seen Trey Parker saying they just wanted a musical to entertain, to make people feel good. You know, there's a lot of musicals out there that are wonderful, that are intense and dark and you know, very politically um, focused. But this was actually just, besides the, <laughs> the offensive jokes on the language and everything, um, you could just enjoy it. You could just laugh and enjoy the music numbers. Um, and I actually thought that all of their voices were fantastic. I did think that the actor that played um, Elder Cunningham was particularly good. His, his whole character was, a, well, the way he played the character was almost like a cartoon character. I thought the girl who played Nabalungi, <laughs> the main actress, um, even though I said about her accent, she was fantastic as well. She really played it with an endearing character. One of the highlights for me was definitely the spooky hell dream sequence. It really took me by surprise. I thought the um, baptizing song was hilarious and very heavy on the innuendo of course but I, I loved it. That was because those two were so great in the whole show that together they just did that wonderfully. Thank goodness for the Broadway world and for, for the musical theatre world that Trey Parker and Matt Stone and Robert Lopez, um, that they found their calling and that they're able to use their talents in this way. Sometimes you do have to make light of a situation so that people go home and think about them and research them and, you know, make themselves more aware. Even as just an entertaining night out, if you don't want to look into the depth of it, if you want to just take it at face value, it's still entertaining, it's still funny, the, the musical numbers are great, the cast that I saw we're fantastic singers. Um, it's just, it's really, really, really worth seeing. I, I'm i so glad that I've got to see it after all these years where I've wanted to, when I've wanted to see it. I'm Fern for Theatre Addicts and have a look at our website and our YouTube page for more reviews and just a list of upcoming shows that are around the area if you want to find out what else is going on in Vancouver and Greater Vancouver. Have a look at our website. Thank you very much and happy theatre growing.